Interactive Voice Response Menu, or IVR for short, is a voice user experience tool that is popular among companies of any size, ranging from local shops and cafes to large corporations. It helps businesses serve customers faster and reduce the workload on their contact center agents. IVR understands customer requests and can immediately transfer a call to the right specialists. Some frequent requests are processed by the robot without any need for human intervention. Customers don't have to wait for the answer as the robot picks up the call immediately and starts working. As a result, customers receive prompt service and the workload on operators is reduced. Right now, we'll demonstrate how you can create and configure your first IVR in just a few minutes using the Vox Implant Kit Visual Editor. Let's go into our Vox Implant Kit account and proceed to script creation. The most common case of smart IVR is an incoming call, set up in order to relieve the first line support. Let's go to the inbound section. You can see a voice assistant template in our gallery. That's a pre-made IVR with several branches. If you have only a few topics commonly coming into your first line, you might want to use it as a basis for your voice menu. Otherwise, you can set up an IVR system from scratch by clicking on the blank scenario button. First, let's introduce ourselves to the customer using the text-to-speech block. The core of our future script will be a block correspondingly called interactive menu. Here, you can configure the text your customers are going to hear using either speech synthesis or an actual recording of a human voice. The input settings specify how a customer's response will be collected from his or her speech, interpreting it by pressing buttons on a phone keyboard or by these two options simultaneously. If the customer suddenly says or presses something unexpected, a replay text will be played. Imagine having a local store to manage. Most commonly, people are going to call to place a new order, check the status of an existing one, find out the address of your store, or contact a manager. Let's fill out the interactive menu by creating a question to clarify your customer's concern. Add some keywords related to your topics as the answer options. We'll also write a replay text that tells the customer what we expect to hear. The rest involves configuring our assistant to help the customer with any questions. Let's start with the store address. The address information is static and seldom changes, so there's no need to waste the operator's time answering such a typical question. Our robot can handle it just as well. Let's add the text-to-speech block, which is similar to the interactive menu, although it's used only for speech synthesis, not for speech recognition. In this block, we will write the sentence that our robot will read to the customer. Let's save and close this block. After listening to the address, our customer might still have some questions. So, let's return to the interactive menu to continue the conversation. The second option is to check the order status. Such delicate work can confidently be entrusted to a robot. Using the API request, you allow our bot to look up order details in your database. The order itself can be found via the caller's phone number. Let's place the API request block right after the interactive menu. This is how we know the status as soon as the customer asks us about it. After the request, add one more text-to-speech block, but don't forget to put in a variable instead of the status, since this is how the robot will tell the customer the information that it finds in your database. After clarifying the status of the order, we will also return the person to the voice menu. The third option is to place an order by phone. Using a combination of the text-to-speech and speech-to-text blocks, we will find out the customer's name, the position for the order, and even the date when it will be convenient to pick up the order. Afterwards, we will confirm the details and send the order to your database using the API request. Please note that you can use some advanced tools at this point. For example, to get the date, we can connect the Dialogflow NLU service from Google. So when a person says that he intends to pick up the order tomorrow at noon, the robot will understand that he means 12 o'clock p.m. on April 25th. The fourth option is to transfer a call to a manager or an operator. Vox Implant Kit is a cloud-based call center that allows operators to receive and make calls right in their browser. If you use the call center functionality, you can transfer the call to your employees using the call to queue block. You can also transfer a call to external telephony by the phone number or SIP address using the call forwarding block. So let's save our script and test it out. Hello, you have reached Vox Implant. How can we help you? Um, hi. I would like to check my order status. 
Your order status is being prepared. How can we help you? Mm, I guess I'll collect it today, thanks. Um, could you kindly remind me, where are you located? We are located at 19 Washington Street. Use the front entrance and turn left after glass door. You will see a banner with big white letters there. Follow it. The first wooden door on the right is the one you need. How can we help you? Now I guess it's all thanks. It only takes a few minutes to set up and launch your first inbound IVR using Vox Implant Kit. For outbound calls, you can configure a similar scenario using the same blocks. Subscribe to our channel to keep track of new videos about different scenarios in Vox Implant Kit.